So as you sort of up your in, engagement and enjoyment with whatever it is you're doing, you'll find the ratio improves. You'll find you get a feel for flow where a little bit of effort is bringing a big reward, momentum where a little bit of effort is bringing a big reward, and struggle where the harder we try, almost the less gets done. And you just learn to back off it like you learn to play warmer, colder when you're a kid, right? If you play warmer, colder, you know the game? I don't know if it has a real name, but it's like, you know, somebody has in mind a place I should go. Let's say they're, 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 they're thinking, ah, I'm going to take them to that pillow over there on the chair. And so, you know, if I just sit here, they can't say warmer or colder. Nothing happens. There's no feedback. So I have to do something. Okay, so I stand up and they go warmer. Okay. Uh, colder. Warmer. Colder. Warmer. Warmer. Whoa, getting really warm. Getting hot. Oh, 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 colder. Warm, right? Like that's how things get created in the world. But we misinterpret what's warmer and what's colder. We think the harder it is, that's warmer. No, the harder it is, that's usually a function of your thinking too much about it. And so we miss the real feedback, which is, is it working? Are we on track? It's built into us. We can tell, am I one to three or three to one? <laughs> Like, am I in diminishing returns or exponential returns? And an hour spent in exponential returns is worth a hell of a lot more than a day spent at five to one, 10 to one. 